so hey guys this is another video tutorial of windows system programming in this tutorial i am going to cover the synchronization barriers in windows so synchronization barriers is a point in a program where all threads wait and stops once they reach to the barrier then they can further proceed so why do we need the synchronization barriers so we know that thread access each other's resources through shared or global memory so what will happen if one thread reads the data before another thread writes it so without synchronization barrier what will happen randomly any thread can enter into the uh, shared variable and they can update but we don't want so with the synchronization barrier what will happen before reaching to the synchronization barrier all thread will wait or stop and then after that they start executing parallelly so with the help of synchronization barrier ensure that concurrently executing of threads or processes so no other thread can execute portion of code at the same time so all thread execute in parallel so this is the advantage of synchronization barriers synchronization barriers api first one is the initialize synchronization barrier second one is the inter synchronization barrier enter into the synchronization barrier then after that it will delete synchronization barriers so check the tutorial number 10 for how to create thread and also check the description box for the tutorial of thread and very important point is that you, the system requirement is window 10 operating system or above if you try to run this program on windows 7 or windows vista or xp so we'll get the kernel 32.dll error so i'll suggest you that move to the 8 8.1 or 10 whatever you, uh, you have so check this link i have already provided in the description box for the more information about the synchronization barrier so first api is the initialize synchronization barrier function the return type of that function is the bool type first argument is that it will take the pointer to the synchronization barrier so if you see the argument one here the synchronization barrier is structured to initialize so second argument is the total number of thread how many thread can enter into the synchronization barrier here you have to specify and third argument is the spin count so the number of times of individual threads should spin while waiting for other thread to arrive at the barrier so if this parameter is minus one the thread is spin 2000 times but basically uh, we have to use this uh, macro synchronization barrier flag spin only it will wait for all the thread to reach to the synchronization barrier so if you see they have already specified here the windows 8 desktop apps only minimum supported client so this one is the inter synchronization barrier apis return type of that function is the bool type and first argument is it takes the pointer of the synchronization barrier structure and flag so flag is very important here it takes the three flags so by default i'll use the synchronization barrier flags spin only specify that the thread entering the barrier should spin until the last thread enters the barriers and return value if you see the true if the successfully signal to all thread and false uh, third api is that delete synchronization barrier function so the return type as is bool but by default if you see here the pointer of the synchronization barrier we have to pass here and delete function always returns true so no need to check any condition here so this one is the program so first uh, i have created i have taken the two handle for the thread one and thread two then we have to initialize the synchronization barrier step one then step two i have created the two thread thread one and thread two then after that wait for single object for thread one and thread two then after that i am closing the handle of thread one and thread two so first we have to move we have to initialize here global variable synchronization barrier 
and I'm taking the one variable I'm initializing with uh, 5 then here we have to write our logic so what we have to do here here I am writing inter synchronization barrier first argument is pointer to the synchronization barrier then flag flag is synchronization barrier flag is pin only that's it and then we have to write delete delete synchronization barrier it will delete the synchronization barrier we have to pass the pointer of the synchronization barrier uh, so what I'll do here I'm putting some message C out end of this line and then I'm incrementing the value so we can print the value here also C out and then end of this line so in thread function that's it then just I'm copying th this whole four line to here we have to write thread to function then we have to print our values and then in main function I'm going to initialize the synchronization barrier it takes the first argument is the synchronization barrier pointers and then total number of thread 2 and spin count just you have to spe specify this one and then that's it so just build build has just started here build succeeded now try to debug our code so if you see here in thread one function it enter and increment the value six and then seven this is the non-deterministic thing any thread can enter into the synchronization barrier it will increment the value and further proceed to the another thread function so this was the basic program of uh, the synchronization ba uh, barrier how to create in windows hope you guys like this video do hit comment share and subscribe this channel